All right, hey everybody, Evan here from devasun.com. And in this video, we're gonna cover components. So we already have our app.svelte. And remember our app.svelte here is a component in of itself. But commonly you'll have multiple components throughout your website. I can throw an example up here on the screen. Now up at the top, you can see our navigation component. In the middle, we have our content component. At the bottom, we have our footer component. And at the side, we have our sidebar component. Now, of course we can code this all in one file. However, it's best practice to put each section in their own component file. So you can really think of this as nesting components inside of other components. At the top, we have our app component, which basically acts as a root component. And inside the app component, we're nesting our navigation, content, and footer components. This is the general structure of how you would build apps in Svelte. So now we're going to create a component and import that component into our app component. So to do that, let's go ahead and go to our source folder. I'm gonna click on a new file and I'm going to call this announcement.svelte. And this component is going to basically act as an announcement to notify the user of something important above all our other content. You can kind of think of this as an alert. So let's go ahead and create our three main parts here. We're gonna need a script tag. Then I'm gonna make a div tag. And lastly, our style tag. So let's go ahead and give our div a class. I'm gonna call this class alert. Now inside this div is gonna be pretty simple. I'm just going to say 50% off all fruit, sign up for more fruit. Now let's go ahead and give this alert some styling. So I'm gonna say dot alert, curly braces, and we're gonna give some padding here. I'm gonna just say eight pixels. Then we're gonna say font size is going to be say 18 pixels. Now the background color, let's go ahead and go with a dark sea green. And I'm gonna say the color of the font is probably gonna be a darker green. Let's go with dark slate gray. All right, and there we go. Now we have our basic announcement component here. But if we go to our website, we're gonna see that it's actually not even showing up on our website. At the moment, it's basically just floating around in space. We haven't actually nested it inside of our main component yet. So let's go ahead and nest this component inside our root component, which is our app.svelte. And the way we do this is we go up into our script tag here. And now to import our component, all we have to type is import. And then we're gonna do dot slash and basically dot slash just tells us to look in the same directory that we are currently in. And now if we type announcement.svelte, we need to call this something. So I'm just gonna call this announcement. And then I'm gonna say from, and you can call this whatever you want here. Uh, I'm just calling it announcement because that's the name of the component that I've created here. Uh, typically it's probably best practice to name this the same as the component that you're importing, but you don't have to. And now to put it in our HTML, we basically have to create a tag for it, which is similar to how we create tags for our main divs, etc. And I can put this outside the main or I can put it inside, it doesn't matter. But in this case, I'm just gonna put it inside main. And I'm gonna type announcement and have it self close like so. And now that we have this, if I go ahead and save it and we go to our website, we're gonna see now we can see the alert 50% off all fruit, sign up for more fruit. So that is essentially how you nest components inside other components. And just for clarity, I imported our announcement component into our app.svelte. You don't have to only import it in your app.svelte, you can import components and other components as well. Again, we're gonna be diving deeper into this. So if this is confusing, don't worry about it. And just to show you that this name can be whatever I want, uh, we can name this alert, and I can change this name up here to alert. And if we go to our browser, it still works just the same way. I'm gonna change that back just so we're not confused. Now let's say we want to toggle this alert on and off. Well, what we can do is we can create a variable and I can just call this variable show and set it equal to true. And now here we can say if show, and then I can put a closing if tag here. Now, if show is true, we will display this. However, if show is false, we will not display this div. So let's go ahead and look and we can see currently it's showing. However, if I set show to false, like so, it's not going to display. So let's go ahead and actually add a button to this. And I'm gonna call this button hide and we're gonna create a function here. I'm gonna call this hide alert. And this is basically going to set show equal to false. However, we're gonna have false set to true initially. And then when we on click 
on the button. We're going to call hide alert. And now whenever we click on this button, it's going to call this function. It's going to set show to false and it will hide this div because again, we're if checking show here. If show is true, then show this div. If show is false, then do not show this div. So in theory, this should work. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, now we see 50% off all fruit. Sign up for more fruit. We have the hide button here. If we go ahead and click on this, the alert disappears. And I think that's gonna wrap up this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below, or you can go to the Devison Discord server and either myself or someone else will be able to help you out there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.